Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to focus just on creating links inside of your emails. And these links can be created for broadcast emails. They can also be created for follow-up emails. What we're going to do is we're going to edit a message in our drafts area and we can click the edit link. And that brings us to the edit screen. Now in order to place a link, all you'll need to do is you'll need to place the link someplace in the body of your email. Now there are several ways of being able to do this. You can actually place the actual URL and create a link with it. For example, we can create a link in this way. Now you'll see the entire URL there and you actually don't need that in order to place the link inside of your email it will be there for reference to the people who are going to be reading it. Now what you're going to do in order to create an active clickable link is you're going to highlight this link then you're going to click the link icon that's going to open up into a dialog box and what we're going to do is we're going to take that URL we're going to place it inside of this URL and what you'll notice is that there is an HTTP here an HTTP here and what we need to do is we need to make sure that we backspace so that all that appears there is the HTTP on the left side and the URL on the right side. Now if the URL is formatted correctly, you're going to see a green success bar here. And then you're going to click OK. You'll then see that this link is going to be a different color. That means that the link is going to be clickable. Now, it doesn't mean that the link is going to be rendering. We are going to need to check that before we actually send. But for this stage of the process, it is a correct link. Now, another way to send a link, obviously, is to hyperlink inside of your text. And you can do that by going inside and actually highlighting text, going to the link icon, and then placing the URL inside. And you'll notice then that the HTTP actually goes away all by itself. We're going to click OK. So now we've created two different kinds of links. We can also just write in a phrase someplace in our text. And we can hyperlink that text. We'll click the link icon. And then we'll put the link in here. Now, in addition to creating links, we can also create email addresses. And we can do that by highlighting the text, going to the link icon, and then changing the link type to email. And what we're going to do is we're going to write our email address that we wanted to send to in this box. And then we're going to put a starter subject and a message body in there. Okay, so once all your text is in, you're going to click OK. And this is actually going to be clickable into an email address. And what it will do is it will actually open up the email editor of the person who's actually clicking the link. Now, for the sake of deliverability, you'll want to keep your linking to affiliate sites to a minimum and redirecting to a minimum. When possible, you want to send people to your own website. So what we're going to do now that we have our content in, we're going to click save, and then we're going to click save and exit. So now that this message is in our drafts area, we are now going to go ahead and send this as a broadcast. We're going to schedule it, and we're going to send it immediately. Aweber is going to warn us and ask us if we want to send this broadcast and we're going to go ahead and send it. And now our email with our links is actually sent. So now that this email has arrived in our box, we can actually click these links and they are clickable. Now what you'll notice is that these links have a tracking code in them. And this allows Aweber to tell us whether or not people are clicking these links. So if we click this link, we'll then know that this link has been clicked when we go and look at our email statistics. 
We can also have this link, which is our email link, open up into an email facility. And you'll see that our email is now ready to be sent by clicking that link. And AWeber will always give us the statistics for our sending. So actually, we only had one email being received. It was opened by one person. But if we had more than one person inside of our email list, we could actually view our statistics for that email. And AWeber will tell us how many people opened it, how many people clicked on the links. If we had sales tracking and someone reached the page, it'll tell us how many people actually sold, how many people unsubscribed, and then how many times people hit the domain. We can actually look at how many emails are unopened and then how many have been opened. And if we wanted to send a follow-up email to either people who had not opened our email or people who had opened our email, all we would have to do is to create a segment based on the subscribers. So in this case, all we would need to do is to click send directly to subscribers. AWeber would ask us for a segment name. We would create our segment name and then we'd save our segment. Now, obviously, you're going to have more than one person in your email list. In this particular case, the mechanics will work the exact same. You would still create a segment based on either people who had opened, people who had unopened. You can create a segment and actually send an email to them. So here's how that process would work. You'd actually click schedule a broadcast. And then you'd actually have all of the list selected. But what you do is you would actually edit and then you would actually send to a certain segment. And you'll see there that our segment that we just created is actually there. And so the only people that would receive this email would be those within the segment that we created. And then we would click send message now. So again, we are tracking clicks, we are tracking statistics, and we can tell what our broadcast and our email marketing is actually doing. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.